project came about from one of my students, Pede. He's a, a, a mad keen surfer. It was from his keen interest in, in surfing and, and research that I suggested that he come on and, and do a summer research scholarship. I also convinced a, a couple of other students to come on board and, and we were really interested in the effect of, of different dry land training modalities have on, on your surf paddling performance. We see a lot of high ankle sprains as a result of, of landing aerials and also ACLs on the rise. So it would be good to, to try to provide some information as to how we could prevent those and, and keep our surfers on the, the water and performing at the highest level. We had them in the pool. The, the primary outcome measures were the, the 40 metre time trial and they were required to do that three times. So it was like a repeat sprint, if you like. We also had some tethered paddling. So we essentially strapped them to their board. They were then attached to a, a wire. There was a strain gauge between the surfer and the dive block. And from that, we could, uh, we could see how much force they were producing. We're now just at the point where we're, we're analysing this data. Just eyeballing, you, you can see that there is some, some significant change. Our aim is to then use this information to help guide the exercise prescription and, and programming of those working with, with surf athletes. We, we did measure a whole heap of different variables. So we want to try and determine which of those might explain the performance with paddling. When we can understand that, that I think will then further inform practice. These sorts of studies, they are very fun. I, I, I do quite enjoy conducting this research, but I think the implications are quite practical. It's information that can be taken and used and applied straight away. So I think that it is very important to have those, those links between researchers at the university and the, the practitioners or the coaches within sporting organisations.